Beautiful love. On the 10th of May 2023, the Round Britain Cruise RBC 60 came to Plymouth and we were there to record it. And you are quite average, I would say, uh, Yes, I do marine art. So I was the artist in residence last year, uh, drawing the arts, which is quite beautiful. And I'm going to have another go. Sure. So, how much of this journey have you done so far? The 60th anniversary? Um, well, I'm just starting at the moment to get my heads around. The boats are arriving, bunting is going up, flags are flying, and it's beginning to look interesting. <laughs> so, what is so special about this kind of event? Well, I think classic yachts are history, and they're the history of sailing, and they're the, sort of the history of commerce and trade. And, and a lot of people think of the ocean as a barrier, but it's not, it's a freeway. It, it's, it's this, if you, before, before the advent of the internal combustion engine, you do about 10 miles a day walking beside the horse which carried the packs. Whereas uh, a sailing boat can do 150, 200 miles a day. And that changed everything. So all the transport and all the trade and all the history was by sea. And classic yachts are a reflection of our beautiful historic sailing past. Have you got any old sea dog tales for me? <laughs> old sea dog tales? Um, uh, I'll think about that for a second. Um, Did something dramatic happen? Well, uh, have you heard of the Battle of the Catwater in Plymouth? No. Right, uh, in, in the uh, uh, late 1500s, you weren't around then, no, no. so don't tell me that. <laughs> no, no, it, it was, I wasn't around. But there was a, a full-scale battle that took place in Plymouth Sound. And Sir Walter Raleigh was preparing a fleet to set sail for Brazil to find the fabled city of El Dorado, financed by uh, Queen Elizabeth. And a Flemish fleet came gale-bound and sailed into the Sound. But the Flemish were allied with King Philip. Spain, which were mortal enemies at the time, and they failed to dip their ensigns to the guild, um, to, to the citadel, and that was a declaration of war. So Raleigh, without hesitation, set sail in the Catwater, sailed into the Sound, and let loose with the six pounders, and battles commenced. And there was a full scale um, nautical engagement. Um, uh, two ships were severely damaged, and one, one had, to, had to retire. The Spanish ambassador w was involved, and it was a major, major rout. It was a great success for the Brits. So, what <laughs> happened to the Flemish ships? Uh, they retired in uh, bad order. Do, you, do they sort of wave a white flag or something? Uh, not anymore. But they would have been about to uh, I think sailing in the opposite direction would do it. <laughs> But it's this famous, famous, famous sea battle that took place in the Sound, and it actually did, did happen. Yes, but it's a bit, bit old, that, that sea dog tale, isn't it? It doesn't involve you. <laughs> um, you must have come a cropper a couple of times. Uh, I try hard to do it. Um, I s yes, uh, sailed across the Atlantic last year, um, single-handed. So it was Plymouth to Madeira non-stop, Madeira to the Azores non-stop, and the Azores back to Plymouth non-stop. Um, and great fun. It was an enormously challenging sail. It was a couple of big gales, big gale off Finisterre and a big gale off um, <laughs> uh, halfway down, down Portugal Beach. The southerly gale, which is very annoying. It's just lay a hull for three days and just rode it out with a small storm too. And the, um, all the preparation work I did on the boat and all the planning actually worked out and everything was fairly straightforward, which is what you want. The ideal is not to have any exciting tales at all. <laughs> Thank you so much for talking to me. Sorry. That's very interesting. Yeah. I'll see if I can do your pictures on uh, social media. So you do all the painting for the classical boats as well? Yeah. Well, well, we've spoken quite a few times. Yeah, yeah, hi. hi Chris. How's it going? Hi, you all right? Yeah, so back again. So I'm just sort of seeing, seeing what's a good, good angle to start with. Can you tell everybody what your name is again? My name is Adrian Bishop. And what's your website? 
Oh, um, uh, adrianbishopmarineart.com. Yeah, nice one. Uh, and how are your drawings and paintings coming on? Uh, actually, rather well. Good. Um, I had an open studio uh, a couple of months back, yes. which was a great success. And nice one. Sold, sold a lot of paintings. Where did you have your exhibition sh- on show then? Um, uh, well, it's, it's open studio at home. Oh, right, okay, yeah, yeah of course. 40 people came around. Nice great. one. So uh, cool. uh, that's inspired me working hard on the new collection. So you're going to be busy over the next three days till these boats go out again? I'm going to be if the busy. Fair. Next this couple of days I'm here. Yeah. Uh, we're going to be um, drawing away and see, see what I can do. Nice one. No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. Eh? Yeah, just be on the ball. Yeah. Thanks. Special thanks to BBC Radio Cornwall, Plymouth Gin, Sutton Harbour Holdings, Jonathan Bryce, the Plymouth organiser, and everyone involved in the Round Britain Cruise RBC 60 2023. 30 years of culture and the arts as a free service on Love Summertime TV. Don't forget to friendly share my videos, subscribe to my channel, and support me through PayPal at ccsphoto1 at gmail.com. Thanks for watching the video. It's a